Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. We've reviewed lots of alcohol stoves here on the channel, or are they alcohol burners? Well, that's the thing. Alcohol stoves function on their own without a stand, where alcohol burners require a pot stand. Without a pot stand, you're not able to put anything over the flame and it's pretty much useless. So is it better to have an alcohol stove or an alcohol burner? We'll talk a little bit about that today and look at an awesome stand for alcohol burners, the Tokes TI stand. Thanks for watching. While for many years, it's generally been my preference to use alcohol stoves so I don't have to carry a pot stand, I've changed my mind a little bit recently, or at least opened my mind to the idea that you don't have to have a stove that has its own integrated pot stand. And the reason is pretty simple. Having a pot stand can be very beneficial. If you have a stove, say like the cat can stove that we use very frequently, you do not need a pot stand for it, but you still need something else, a windscreen. Alcohol stoves are very susceptible to the wind. So if you can use or get a stand that works extremely well, not only as a stand for your pot, but also as a windscreen, it can make any weight added to your kit from the actual pot stand kind of cancel out. Because if you're gonna use something that you don't need a pot stand for, you're going to need a windscreen. So if you can have a pot stand that doubles as an excellent windscreen, why not carry that? This is the TI stand from Tokes. It's got four pieces. You can see them right here, four different pieces and two titanium, essentially tent stakes that are used as cross braces. Very simple to put together, okay? You're just going to put these pieces in like that, okay? Get your next piece, put it in like that. And your last piece initially can be kind of hard, but after a while using it, it becomes much easier to put together, just like that. And then you use these cross pieces. You just put these through, it's got holes. You can use it from either side. And once you have that in there, you have got an awesome pot stand. It's designed for use with the Tokes siphon stove. Okay, you just put it right over the top and you can put your pot right on there and it's perfect. You can see that just a little bit better there. A Little bit of information about it. The dimensions of each of these flat pieces is three by three. The dimensions of the 10 stakes, they're six and three eighths inches long and just an eighth inch diameter. The dimensions of it built like this is about four and one eighth inches across right here, okay? It weighs two and a half ounces. It's made in China and is made of titanium. I want you to notice one thing that makes the design excellent and makes it a great uh, wind protection. You obviously have your stove at the bottom. When you put this on top, like I said earlier, if the pot stood right on top, okay, it wouldn't be as protected. But since it goes just a little bit in and you have about half an inch to three quarters of an inch of distance between the top of these little pieces and where the bottom of the pot is, it really helps protect it from the wind. Although it's designed for use with the Tokes siphon stove, you can use it with many different stoves. You can use it with the Tokes. You can use it with the Lixada, which is just a little bit larger version of it. You can use it with your Trangia stove, no problem whatsoever. You can use it with the Evernew Titanium alcohol burner. You can use it with a couple of different stoves from Trail Designs, also the Cogen stove. And lastly, you could even use it with one of my least favorite stoves, the Vargo Decagon. Basically anything that will fit inside here will work very well. You can even get creative and put a nice little piece of metal across the top here and use it with solid fuel, like I said. But we are going to use it today with the Tokes Siphon, which is what it was designed for. Let's boil up two cups of water and see how well it works. Okay, we have got 71 degree water. This is two cups of water. We'll put some alcohol in here. I always use the product heat from the yellow bottle. All right, we'll get this started and get the timer going. There it goes. We'll put this right over the top. Start our timer. You can see it nicely there. And let's see how long it takes to get these two cups of water to a boil with the Tokes siphon stove and the TI stand. Okay, we are coming up on a very good time. Always impressed with stoves like this. There we go, 553. 553 for a full boil. Still have plenty of alcohol in our burner. We're gonna let that burn off 
and we're going to talk about this stand and let you guys know what I think. So let's take a few moments and talk about the pros and cons of the Tokes TI stand. We'll start with those pros. The weight is hard to beat at just over two ounces. It's very flexible. You can use it with multiple different stoves like we showed earlier in the video. The titanium sheets in particular cool very, very quickly. Now those tent stakes can stay hot for a while, so be careful with those. But the sheets cool very quickly and overall the tent stakes do as well. And as we spoke about earlier, you're combining both a pot stand with a windscreen, which is very effective. The cons start, of course, with the price. It's not the cheapest piece of kit in the world. It's not overly priced, but it is more expensive than a lot of cheaper pot stands or windscreens you get out there. We mentioned the tent stakes. They do stay hotter, much longer than the outside shell. And that's kind of a con because without it, you'd be able to pack it up much quicker. Now, initially, it's kind of hard to get it together, but that really does get better over time. I've had this stand for about a year and it's pretty easy to put together these days. The last thing is it doesn't come with a carrying case. I do like having a carrying case. Now this one's kind of difficult because you have to have something big enough and long enough for those stakes, but either way, it would have been nice to have some kind of carrying case come with it, especially for the price tag. So what do you guys think about this stand? I think it's pretty awesome. It's lightweight. It's very flexible on the types of burners you can use with it. You could use your Trangia, you could use your Avenue like I showed you guys earlier. Very common alcohol stoves or burners that we see out there. It would be awesome if they offered a little titanium plate to sit on top of those two tent stakes. That would allow you to use it with solid fuel and give it another amount of flexibility. Since the design calls for the pot to sit just underneath the top of the stand itself, and it kind of sits in there, it really helps protect it from the wind. It will make pretty much any stove you put underneath there work much better, particularly in windy situations, because it is much more protective of the flame. So what do you guys think? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the wait to carry it? I think it is, and I really like this stand. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves. There are over 100 videos now that include stoves and stands and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you check that out down below. Do me a big favor, guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. It really helps spread things across YouTube. It is extremely helpful. So if y'all could do that for me, I would appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. I love alcohol stoves. I love all stoves, quite frankly. I do a lot of reviews on them. I've wanted this stand for a while and it took me a long time to pick up this Tokes titanium siphon stove. I don't know why, but the $35 price tag seemed a bit much. Combine that with this $25 product, you got $60, just over three ounces for a complete cook system. Pretty hard to beat when you're talking about a stove and a windscreen. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.